Tap, tap, tap in, collective. Welcome to my channel. I'm God's Major Oracle. To all my returning subscribers, I appreciate you. Thank you for all the love. To all my new subscribers, welcome home. Welcome to the family. Consider subscribing today. Now, I'm an intuitive oracle reader. All my readings are timeless. This is an 18 plus channel. So, YouTube trigger warning. Why? Because we never know what the cards are going to say or the reader. Now, I turned on my fan. I had three cards fly across the table. Those are these three cards right here. Now, I do past, present, and future overall energy. Now, what was on the bottom of the deck I have here? It's the King of Cups. What flew across was the Ten of Pentacles. And I took it exactly how it flew across the table. I left it that way. Now, I also have the Knight of Cups. And I have... The Three of Pentacles. So we have here Earth, Water, Earth, Water. It was in perfect sequence. So whatever is going on is in perfect sequence in divine timing. Now I'm recording this on 2-2, February 2nd. Now I take that like an angel number. Now this is your angel's way of trying to tell you that new experiences and changes are on the horizon. It's a number that highlights the importance of balance and harmony in your life. So if you don't know this, know that a perfect balance and harmony is coming to your life. For a lot of you, you're coming out of this stagnation. Um, you were dealing with money problems. You were dealing with life problems. You were dealing with family problems. You were dealing with, for some of you, and a, a song came out, and I'm going to go in debt with this message because the song said, evil twin, evil twin. So stay tuned for the next reading regarding that. Now, I'm going to read off these cards to you. Now, these are all minor arcana cards. Now, this is a mundane situation, a minor situation, but it's a big change coming to your life. Now, this speaks of apprenticeship, lear <coughs> excuse me, learning, studying, growing, hard work, contentment, building, success, collaboration, teamwork, determination, goals, dedication, quality, attention, and attention to details, a traditional person, achievements, recognition, and reward. You've been going through a lot of hurdles this past season. Now, I don't know if you heard it or not, but the groundhog, he didn't get scared. He didn't see his shadow. So spring is coming early. I get like something beautiful is coming early sooner than what you think. And a lot of you don't realize it, but something beautiful is coming into your life, coming into this season. It's all about teamwork. And we have a lot of green out here. I get like four of have had money situations. This situation is going to improve. We have romance, proposal, offer, invitation, taking action, following your heart, attraction, dating, affection, your ideal man or woman. And now it also speaks of intelligence and you yourself being intelligent, making the right judgment call I get on certain people. Now, I get like you have a new person or you're dealing with a person or you know someone that it wants to do a proposal, like wants to make a proposal. Now, this could be a friendship. This could be a relationship. This could mean a, for some of you an actual proposal. Now, we are dealing with a water sign or earth sign. This could be you or this person. Could be sun, moon, or rising. Take it as it resonates. Now, here with the Ten of Pentacles, we have unexpected financial windfall, a lump sum, will, deed, trust fund, inheritance, solid foundation, privilege, inherit. Now we also have ancestors, family, business. We have values, support, issues. Any issues you're dealing with or was dealing with, I'm telling you, it's coming to an end. We have riches, old money, and influence. What I get is like you're, you were at a low point with your pentacles, but you have your 10 of pentacles coming in. We have the king of cups, trust, wealth, knowledge, caring, healing, good advice. Someone who is understanding, unconsciously motivated, a man in touch with his emotional life, a good friend, mature, emotionally stable person. So I get like you yourself, you're becoming emotionally balanced 
or you need to be, or you will be, you have someone that is keeping you emotionally balanced or will keep you emotionally balanced. Now, what I see here is that you have someone coming towards you or this person's already in your energy. I get also like on the reverse, you had someone that you stopped dealing with that wants to come towards you more mature. Now I'm going to read the signs because a lot of people like to know what signs are in this reading. What I'm getting is earth or water sign. Here we have Capricorn, Scorpio, Virgo, and I believe Pisces. We also have Cancer. And I heard a click. Take that as it resonates. Now I have these two cards here. These two decks. I wanted to read what was on the bottom of the deck. Now we have be adoptive, receptive, to lead our love to a divine growth. I get like for some of you, you have a, div a divine love coming in. Or you're meeting your divine love in this season. Or someone has become your divine love because they grew up. On the bottom of this deck, we have... Open yourself to love. It is safe for you to let your heart be seen. Don't be scared. For some of you, you're scared of love. For some of you, you're scared of dealing with someone new. Why? Because of all the traumatic experience you've been through with your past person. Now, we do have the third eye chakra out here. So someone is finally seeing you. Someone's finally seeing the light. You yourself, you're finally seeing what it is in this situation. Now, I want to look at overall in bunch. So we're going to go in depth with this. We're going to look at the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups together. And we're going to look at the Three of Pentacles. And we're going to look at the Ten of Pentacles together. Now, I, I get like God is filling your cup in this season. Now, with these two decks of cards out here, I, I've just peeped it. It says Balance. There needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for a relationship to be sustained. That message is for somebody. Now with the next deck up, under that it says, I can't take my eyes off of you, off of your figure, the way you move. Someone is watching you in this season. That message is for somebody. Somebody you, finds you like breathtaking. For some of you, you ha have not had dealings with this person. For some of you, this is the person that you're dealing with currently in your life. If you are in a relationship or a situation. With this deck out here, I also have under that is your eyes, your smile. Can't get them out of my mind. Can't get them out of my head. Like there's somebody thinking of you nonstop. And under that, under the next deck. We have beware of codependency, addictive behaviors, and effect that is affecting your romantic life. Collective, don't backtrack. That is what I'm getting. Don't backtrack in this situation. Don't let your past hinder your future. Now, check out my other readings because every reader, their videos say a story. I promise you, there's a message for you in every video. Now, the King of Cups is a card of romantic pursuits, passion, emotion, creativity. It depicts a youthful, brave, and enthusiastic person who is always eager to embark on a new adventures, especially those linked to love and connection. This card signifies the arrival and the exciting opportunities and new beginnings, leaving the past behind, forging ahead with confidence and hope. It represents the power of inspiration and intuition two forces that help us discover our deepest desires and fulfill our heart in yearning. That is a representation of the Knight of Cups. Now, the King of Cups, the King of Cups is a card of emotional balance, maturity, wisdom. It portrays a calmness and a collective figure who has mastered his emotional or her emotional, depending on who you're dealing with. There's no gender in card reading on his or her emotional and known how to navigate the 
trials and tribulations of life. The King of Cups symbolizes the ability to connect with others deeply, understand their feelings, and offer a support and guidance. This card represents a person who is highly intuitive, compassionate, empathetic, possessing the power to heal others with his words and deeds. I get like you have someone that wants to heal you, wants to heal your heart wants to come and heal you from your past. I also get like you yourself are healing from your past or you need to be healing from your past. I also get for some of you, your past person is healing from their past and is trying to heal at this moment. Now the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups appear together in a tarot card reading. The message is one of emotional empowerment and growth and understanding. This combination offers an invitation to unlock your hidden potential and harness the power of your emotional achievements and goals. It suggests that you are on the verge of a new chapter in your life, one where you are truly in control of your feelings and thoughts and can direct them towards constructive and powerful and active situations in your life. The King of Cups and the Knight of Cups is a combination. It represents a highly intuitive, emotional intellect person who is ready to take charge of his or her own life. You are ready, collective. You are ready. For some of you that you are on your healing journey, you are healed or you are on that journey to heal. It is insightful that the power of self-awareness, introspective and mindfulness, the ability, the ability to respect and to reflect on your past. See, what didn't make, break you, it made you. Your thoughts and your feelings, you're observing them without judgment and use them to make a conformed decision. This combination urges you to listen to your, your intuition, your inner self, and be open to a new experience. Even if they seem challenging or daunting overall, the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups tarot card combination suggest that you are embarking on your spiritual journey. Claim that in the comment section. I am embarking on my spiritual journey. I am on my soul's path. I am on my divine path. I am on the path that God chose for me. See, that's the meaning of your life. That will help you discover your true purpose and for you to achieve great and greater emotional balance and harmony within yourself, within situations in your life, within your family, within your home and your love life. It encourages you to be courageous in your quest for love and connection, to use your insight and wisdom to help others on their path. You were sent here for a reason. You were sent here to guide people as well, collective. Know that you are chosen. With this combination, anything is possible. So trust your instincts and go forward. Confident and enthusiastic, knowing that you have the power to create your own destiny collective. You have that power. Claim it in the comment section. I am a master of my own destiny. I will not allow anyone to tell me what my destiny is. I will not allow anyone to hinder my destiny. God doesn't want you to let nobody stop you. I get like you, yourself, personally, you a force of nature collective. The Three of Pentacles is a major arcana card depicted in Craftsman, who is busy at work. He is surrounded by people who are looking at his work and offering feedback. This card represents collaboration, teamwork, and mastering of specific skills. The Three of Pentacles indicates that great success can be achieved when people with different strengths and abilities can come together, work towards a shared goal. The card signifies the importance of communication, planning, and organization, as well as the benefits of seeking the advice of trusted colleagues, mentors, and experts. You could also want to go, I get, like, you have family members or you have someone, friend or foe, someone that you can really trust in what they say and the advice that they're giving you is what I'm getting. You could also trust yourself, trust your universe, trust in God that he is leading your way. Now, to all those that have commented, on my short video. This is truly what's to come. You have the Ten of Pentacles. It's a major arcana. All your blessings are being heard at this season. God hears your prayers. God knows your suffering. God wants to take you out of this situation that you was dealing with. Know that all those that accepted God into their life, you are a beautiful season. 
Love is the key. Know this. God loves you and God wants you to love yourself. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is a major arcana card that represents abundance, harmony. This is a prosperous card, and this card, family, is gathered together in a beautiful garden, enjoying their wealth and success. The Ten of Pentacles often indicates that one's hard work and dedications have paid off. I get like you were being obedient, collective, and because you were being obedient to God, it has paid off, and that things are falling into place as they should. This card also signifies the importance of creating a strong family bond and being grateful for the good things in your life. Count your blessings, collective. Count your blessings every day. I get like you're a person that you're appreciative to God, whether it was a lesson or a blessing, you was appreciative. And if you're not, then you need to be. Because there were a lot of situations, a lot of trial and tribulations that you were supposed to go through. There was a lot of harm that was coming your way and God covered you. God kept you safe. God sent his strongest angels. My question is, have you prayed today? Have you prayed him to him? Have you praised him? Have you thanked God today? You should do so after this reading. Now, when the you see the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles appearing together in a tarot card reading, it represents fruitation, collaboration, efforts leading to financial security, wealth, success. This combination suggests that the hard work you have put in into mastering a skill or a project has paid off and that you are now enjoying the fruits of your labor or you will be collective. You are your greatest masterpiece collective. Continue to work on yourself. It indicates that your work has been recognized and appreciated. And you yourself, you're appreciating what you've done for yourself. And your colleagues and your peers, your family, they're watching you. They're watching you grow as a person collective and that you have earned their respect and admiration. The combination of the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles also signifies the importance of family and community support. Lean on your family, lean on your community collective or subscribe today. Why? Because we here are your family. Join God squad today. It suggests that you are a hard worker and not only benefits yourself but also this benefits your loved ones and the people around you this card is a combination to remind you to appreciate the people who have been with you in your journey and acknowledge their role in your success in conclusion the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles combination in a tarot card reading represents a journey that has led to abundance prosperity pro prosperity excuse me and success it highlights the importance of collaboration with the community and with your family and those that love you and planning, as well as the significance of your family and your community support is achieving one's goal. With this card combination, one can reflect on their hard work and recognition, the roles of others in their achievement. You have people in your life that has been there for you. Tell them thank you. Tell them how much you love them. And again, now, and for those that say, I don't have anybody, because I just heard somebody say that, you have God. You have the Holy Spirit. You have your spirit team. You have all the angels and the archangels. See, they fought battles that you do not see. They've always been your protector. And I guess since you were born, you've always had a divine protection over your life collective. You had a divine protection over your path collective. For some of you, you thought you're not on your divine path. For some of you, you feel karmic. But no, you're here because you're growing. You're growing as a person. And again, this is past, present, or future. If this hasn't happened, then this is currently happened. Or this is what's to come collective. Give me a like if you like. If you agree with this reading. You have beautiful things coming your way, collective, is what I'm picking up on. You have beautiful people. I get like your soul tribe. You're calling in your soul tribe. You being here right now, know that each and every one of you are part of each other's soul tribe. You have people or a person, someone that is in king or queen energy that has your back. This person is bringing in this ten of pentacles for you. If you are on your soul's path, then you are at your nine of pentacles. And the ten of pentacles represents everything under the sun. It represents beautiful things. It represents God. God is here with you. God is nurturing. God is protecting you. God is sending you the right people. In this season, collective, you are a winner, collective. Claim it in the comment section. This is my season. I am a winner. We're in the month of love. Love God. Love yourself. Love each other.
Love those that love you, but that love you wholeheartedly from the bottom of their heart. People that are true to you. Be grateful to the universe. Be grateful to God. Grief. Be grateful to yourself, collective. You've came a long way. You've been through so much, so much hurt, so much pain, so much wrongdoing. But see, that this is an ending. That's what I'm getting on this reading. This is an ending to all those trials and tribulations that you dealt with. Now, give me a like if you like. Share this video. That'll help you work on your karma. Hit the notification bell to all so you know when I upload. Now, don't forget, leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I hope this message helps. May your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, angels protect you, and heaven accept you. It's time to tap, tap, tap out collective. And as always, peace be on to you.